Quickly approaching the November general election and many people have already visited polling places to cast their votes early. One southern Indiana County is already seeing an increase in voters compared to past elections. News 10's Bureau Chief Nathan Springfield joins us now live from Vincennes with all the details. Nathan. Susie, good afternoon. I spoke with Knox County Clerk David Shelton this morning. He told me that early voting in Knox County has been going very well for the general election. Shelton says during the primary election, the first few weeks of early voting were slow. The number of absentee mail-in ballots for the general election have exceeded the number received during the primary election. There have been almost 1,000 early in-person votes cast over the past few weeks. Shelton says there are a number of reasons why someone may want to participate in early voting. It's a lot to do with this convenience, you know, getting it out of the way and, uh, you know, people seem to enjoy the new location. It's in and out, street level uh, voting experience for them now. Now you can come out and cast your vote here at the Sally Port directly behind the Knox County Courthouse on 8th Street from 8 o'clock until 4 o'clock. This Saturday and next Saturday, you can also cast your vote at two other voting centers in Knox County. South Knox County residents can visit the Blue Jean Center in Monroe City. North Knox residents can visit the Bicknell Firehouse. Hours for both of those polling locations are Saturday from 8 until 3 p.m. Now we are a little over two weeks away from the general election. Coming up at 6 on News 10, I will tell you how you can find polling locations here in Knox County and how you can check to see if you are registered to vote. Reporting live here in Vincennes, Nathan Springfield, News 10.